CH is true here, and I'm a little bit underdressed today. I apologize. A t-shirt, it's not all that professional, so I hope you'll forgive me. Uh, I'm doing this video on kind of short notice. Uh, the urge suddenly came to me, so if um, my attire isn't the usual, I, I try to have a great deal of respect for my audience. I do apologize for that. My channel is a few years old now, and I... To be honest, I don't do this channel to compete with Khan Academy. I don't do this channel to necessarily educate or inform. I do this channel as an outlet for myself. Um, those of you wondering why I do this, that's my sole reason for doing it. I don't have any other motive. I'm not in competition with, with, with science channels or with philosophy channels of other stripes. This is entirely solely my own. So true to that spirit, I'm going to give my two cents worth on a meme that has been promoted since the collapse, the very unfortunate collapse of the Occupy Wall Street movement, a much lied about movement uh, in its time, and a much ignored movement since its time. It's always telling when a movement is lied about and vociferously attacked during its time, including by maybe some people on the left as well as uh, some people elsewhere on the spectrum and you can always got to be a little bit suspicious of, of who's attacking it and what might be putting them up to it and what half-truths are being told uh, but then nothing's really been said about it a whole lot since you've also got to look at that suspiciously too whenever legitimate issues become buried and of course there were the troublemakers, quote-unquote. You never know who those really are, uh, whether they're not sent in to disrupt. But I think the thing that I want to focus on most from the collapse of the Occupy Wall Street movement is one particular meme that was promoted, and that is that these were liberal arts majors. And as liberal arts majors, they chose to major in liberal arts, and therefore, since they chose to major in liberal arts as opposed to, to big boy or big girl professions like engineering or uh, uh, finance or uh, uh, criminal justice to beat somebody over the head with a nightstick with or whatever, that therefore, just kidding, but for all you criminal justice majors, sorry about that, but, you know, but the fact that they major in things like history or art or literature means that they deserve somehow what happened to them in the way of unemployment after college. Now, this is a meme that has actually persisted. I, there are all kinds of videos talking about how you as a college student or as an 18-year-old shouldn't major in history, you shouldn't major in international studies. What you should major in is science or engineering. I love science and engineering. I love the sciences. I love, I'm, I'm studying my physics all over again, uh, starting from Newton, and I'm doing the problems. I'm loving every minute of it. I'm loving the, the balance of torque. I'm loving conservation of energy. I'm loving angular momentum. I'm loving um, just starting from the very basics. I'm loving it all. But I do not believe that one should take one good thing to demean another good thing. I do not believe one should take the eloquence and beauty of mathematics or of science and demean the eloquence and beauty of philosophy or the, the, the intellectual satisfaction of learning something about history. And yet, um, this has been promoted as a way for the system to cover itself when what you actually have as the reason for unemployment are when you can go to various videos and read about the, or pardon me, look at videos and read about the Federal Reserve, read about the, the banking system, you can read about how unemployment is something manufactured, you can read about or look at videos about uh, uh, various uh, machinations, conspiracies, and, and that type of thing. And you understand why it is that, that unemployment is out there. Unemployment is out there not because people major in liberal arts or history. Unemployment is out there because the system wants unemployment. Naturally, if there were full employment, you capital couldn't control labor so easily. I mean, that's, that's just common sense 101. And by the way, that's the kind of common sense that as a liberal arts major... Uh, a true liberal arts major, you will receive from your professors. You will understand the way the American system actually runs and the world system. Now, um, if you are a young person 
deciding what to major in refer back to the beginning here when I said that this channel is an outlet for me. It's not an advice outlet. These other video channels that presume to give you advice, they, they presume that if you just follow what they say, you're going to be successful. Um, I'm not going to claim anything of the type because I'm honest. How honest these other video channels are, who these people really are, I'll leave that to you. You're going to find out, those of you who are 18 years old, 17 years old, you're going to find out that there's a lot of deception and deceptive machinations. But maybe these people really are what they say they are, and they're very successful, and they're oh so wonderful. But I'm going to tell you the side of the story that they're not really going to tell you, and that is, it's a simple fact of economics. The more people major in one thing, the more there is an abundance of that type of worker. So if everybody majors in engineering, you're going to have lots of engineers. Why do you think Bill Gates wants to open the floodgates with HB1 visas to bring in admittedly very qualified and very talented people from other countries, but they're willing to work for fill in the blank. That's right, less. Okay? It's why even these hardcore, we're anti-immigrant and we're anti or illegal aliens, whatever they claim, the reality is they don't want the borders closed any more than the more liberal-leaning people do because they want the labor for their businesses. Obviously, they're not going to want legalization or any, any improvement of status because then people could join unions. Um, but um, needless to say, the fact that getting back to the original point the more people just major in business, the more you're going to have people who've majored in business, the less worthwhile of a degree it is. So all these people claiming that their degrees aren't worthwhile because they majored in this, yeah, I, I, that can happen. There was a time, by the way, when physics majors had the very same problem, and look what happened since. Now physics appears to be the big happening thing. Okay, That's the way the economic system works. They want us working for peanuts. And so every so often the business cycle changes around. My sense is that you major in what you love because it's what you're going to be able to get through in four years. You don't major in something that's boring to you. If you major in finance or, or, or engineering or something like that and you love it, then by definition it's something you love. You've made a decision between one thing you love and another thing you love. There's where I will agree with these other videos and, and these channels talking about majoring in hard stuff that requires math and science. I believe everybody should be educated in, in math and science. You should take rigorous math and science courses. And yes, I will agree with them that the humanities has been dumbed down in a lot of respects. I don't feel that majoring in women's studies or, or, or on things like, I think you should major in real history that requires you to look at all perspectives, not just this perspective of women, not just the perspective of a certain group, um, but, but the perspective of a total culture, a very rigorous, very analytical study of history. That includes people's history. That includes women's history. It includes queer history. It includes African-American history. But it also includes a, an understanding of things in the totality. Rigorous history. Primary sources. Um, historiographies with big words in them. Uh, if you want to study African American history, you should read Eric Foner. Okay. If you want to study, um, you should also uh, read Herbert Aptaker. If you want to read labor history, okay, or Howard Zinn with with big words and complex ideas. Uh, so I'll agree with them that no, you shouldn't just major in in some softball major. I don't I don't think that that's just to get through college. I'll agree with them on that. And I'll agree that there should be lots of math and science sprinkled in. Um, people should have a knowledge at least up to trig, if not calculus and, and, and higher uh, if, if one can. I mean, that's, I think, ideal. And yes, I will agree with them that it's hard majoring in liberal arts and in history. It might be easier to go into these other subjects. But for goodness sakes, being a liberal arts major is not the reason for unemployment. These reasons are far more complex. Um, study economics and you'll understand the deeper causes and reasons for that. So, CH is true, my two cents worth. Don't take advice from me, but don't take a wooden nickel from anyone else either. Signed.